welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Oh, y'all, it's a beautiful day in South Carolina, but it has not been a beautiful week. <laughs> I'm sure that you saw my earlier post, and I do appreciate your concern. Y'all, it was enough to be concerned about. But we fared very well here in Anderson, South Carolina. Now, our state didn't do so well, but... We just had a lot of wind damage. We had trees down, power poles down. Oh my goodness, you name it, it was on the ground. And um, other than the inconvenience of no power. <laughs> and no internet. <laughs> and no internet. <laughs> we have done okay. Um, I never lost power the whole time. My son never lost power the whole time. We live close to each other. But y'all, we could divide the family up. We have quite a large family. So part of them could come to my house. Part of them could go to his house. And just for a little respite, plug up all those devices they had. I wish y'all could have seen this place. Back there, they had everything plugged up, all the batteries that run everything in their house. It looked like command center back there. <laughs> so, so we did okay. I know that you have seen videos of the devastation all over. Y'all, some of that is just an hour, an hour and a half away from us. But actually, it's all over the southeast. And our prayers are certainly with all of those people and the losses that they have experienced. We felt like today it was important just to keep things moving and spread a little joy in your kitchen. So right here in Mondays with Mimi, there is a recipe from Evelyn Gaddis, who is Caroline's mother-in-law, and it's for chicken pie. Y'all, it's just so simple. And so I am doing the first part of it now. I am cooking my chicken. Now, you will notice I have several pieces of chicken in there. Well, I'm gonna make several because y'all, I'm the filling station here. <laughs> and so I've got to prepare for that. This recipe calls for two cups of chopped chicken. Now, that's probably as big as the chicken breasts are now. That's probably a couple of those. And so all you do is put them in a pot, cover them with water, put a little salt and pepper in them, and cook them until they are done. Maybe 20, 30 minutes. You can use rotisserie chicken also. But now if you use rotisserie chicken, you're going to have to buy chicken broth to go with it because it does call for chicken broth. But of course, since I'm cooking my chicken, I am making my own broth. So I won't have to buy that separate. <laughs> oh, y'all, before we even get started, set your oven on 350 degrees. Okay, y'all, my chicken is cooled and I've got it cut up. I want to tell you something right here. Y'all, do yourself a favor. Buy a pair of kitchen scissors. <laughs> I almost couldn't remember what I was going to say. It just makes it so easy. Y'all, it just, I mean, these things are about 5 or $6. And so you can get them anywhere. All right, this is two cups of cooked chicken cut up. <laughs> now, you can use rotisserie chicken if you want to. I cooked mine so I would have my own broth because I'm going to be making several of these since I'm the filling station. <laughs> okay, we're going to add a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. Okay, and then we're going to add a half a cup of sour cream. So we'll put that in there. Okay, and then one can of chicken, cream of chicken soup. Now y'all, I have a lot of recipes for chicken pie and some, most of them call for vegetables. This one does not. This is strictly chicken pie. <laughs> it brings new meaning to the word chicken pie. But so it sounds this would be good to make and serve with a salad. 
or with vegetables. <laughs> okay. On the side. <laughs> On the side. All right. All right. We just go mix these together. Oh, y'all, it smells good. Mm. Get these things well acquainted. Now, I'm going to taste this to see maybe if it needs a little salt or pepper. Nope. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, y'all, we are going to use two pie crusts today. One goes in the pie plate, and you can use frozen or refrigerated. I'm using refrigerated today. Okay, I've got my pie plate, so we're going to put our pie crust in here and get it ready for the filling. Okay, y'all. I'm going to leave this kind of up a little bit because we are going to pinch these together. Okay, y'all. I'm going to put this filling in here. Smells good. Yes, it does. Okay, I put my filling in now, y'all. Gonna get it all? Yep. I think we got it all, KK. Good grief. One, one little dab. Can't leave a dab. Okay, y'all, we're gonna put this other pie crust right on top. All right. And then it just says just to pinch them together. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pinch them together. All righty. Okay, y'all, we go cut some slits in the top of this pie. Now you can do this with a fork if you want to. I'm doing it with a, with a knife. And uh, so we'll cut several slits here. Okay. Now, guess what? We're ready to bake it on 350 <laughs> on the bottom rack. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we go. on the bottom right. <laughs> we need to bake this about 40 to 50 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer on 40 minutes and then we'll check it and make sure that it's done. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, y'all, the magic sound. Let's check this out. Oh, that's going to need another 10 minutes. It says 40 to 50 minutes. Now, everybody's oven is different, y'all. So let's set this on 10 and we'll cook it another 10 minutes. See you. Oh my, that looks Ooh, so good. Oh, yum. We go sit that there now and let it cool for a few minutes. Okay, y'all, this pie is cool now. So let's cut it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna cut it just like I would cut a pie. A pie pie. <laughs> this is a pie. <laughs> oh good, it is a pie. <laughs> Oh, y'all. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. You can tell I've already tried this, but y'all, I got to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, I had my phone sitting up in the kitchen window, <laughs> and um, I was watching a video, and when it was over, I just didn't move it. Well, we got busy and started doing things and getting ready to eat, and so all of a sudden I have an alarm set on my phone that tells me when to take my medicine in the <laughs> middle of the day. You can tell I'm old. And, um, and so all of a sudden it went off. Well, everybody was looking for my phone. Well, Kayleen found it. It was in the window and she went over and she punched it over. And um, Collins said, was that spam? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, he thinks spam is a person <laughs> and that they call, you know, and he says, Mimi, don't answer spam because if you do, they try to steal your money. 
<laughs> now y'all listen, <laughs> that's a good warning. Yes, it is. Because now with all this devastation, there's gonna be a lot of people trying to collect money for everything. A lot of scammers too, so y'all beware of that. But anyway, all right, let's try this chicken pie. All right, y'all, it smells so good. All righty. Here goes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A1. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> now, y'all, there are some worthwhile causes that we'll be calling. There is a lot of need out of there, a lot of devastation. So, just do your homework. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all have just got to make this chicken pie. It is easy and it is delicious. Y'all have a good rest of the week. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus. <laughs>